Do you want to explain the, uh, what actually happened uh, in India the first night and why it wasn't your fault? Oh, uh, no, it's my fault. I should have gotten there earlier. No, no, it really wasn't. Go ahead. <laughs> now, terrorism, same thing, same thing as here. You have to go through 25 checks to get inside and at least make you wait outside for a while. Uh, you have to print out your boarding pass, or print out your e-ticket before you go, which is Your nowhere. boarding pass from home. Yeah, like you can't you can't check in online, but you're supposed to print out the email that kind of is your e-confirmation. And if you don't do that, then it won't let you in the airport. Whoa. So I had to get pulled off the side, and then they go get like the registers for all the airlines. And then you go oh through literally God. out of like the 300 passengers, you have to find your name, and then they check against your passport, and then they let you in the airport. That's just to get in. Then once you're in, it's like this kind of crazy pandemonium of they've got counters, but the counters change, and people, no one knows where anything is. Like. People were very sure that Kenya Airways was counter 100. They're definitely not counter 100. And someone else is very sure that Kenya Airways was all the way at the end of the left, which is like counter like 40. They're definitely not counter 40. So I ended up going to like their back office and being like, where are you people? Like, I need your counter. And at that point it was like, they, they'd stopped changing the life. So, it was a bummer. Sorry. And then it was like, I was so frustrated because the, they were there, like the pilot was there, the crew was there, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, maybe, you know, can you can we go, can you check me now? Like, no, go back to the counter, and someone will be there. I'm like, all right, so I go back to the counter, and no one's there. Then I go back to the back office, and now it's empty except for two people, and they're like, oh, sorry, they left. Okay, yeah, good, I'm like, you sent me! Like, why did you send me? Ah! And then, this is the kicker. So, you can't leave the airport unless someone from the staff of the airline escorts you. So that same like oh like bull run to get into the airport, same thing going out. So they literally sat in the sand like you have to go find someone from Kenya Airways to walk you out. Kenya Airways has one flight a day, they're done, they left. I'm like, no one is here. I'm like, I'm sorry. You oh have to go God. find someone from Kenya Airways. So I sat there, this is now five in the morning, I sat there, or, yeah, four thirty morning, I sat there for an hour. One whole hour. While oh they God. literally just waited, I kept saying, please can I go? No, no, you need to go find someone. I go back in the airport, I'm like, there's no one here. Like, wow. just wait, someone will come back. So that was the kick in the teeth. Sorry.